Hey everyone, Thomas Crick here, back with another video. Promise I'm gonna start uh, dropping some bigger projects here, but uh, this one is another kind of weekend warrior project for uh, some DIYers out there. I uh, had to make a charcuterie board. Well, I didn't have to, I decided to make a charcuterie board for this uh, church auction charity thing that we're going to in a couple weeks. And uh, my wife's a teacher there, so figured I would work a little bit and uh, make a nice charcuterie board. So I bought this a nice walnut slab, like 65 bucks, and I knew I'd be able to get two good size, um, almost 30 inch boards each uh, out of this slab. So that's basically like 35 bucks, a little under 35 bucks per charcuterie board for wood supply there. Here I'm, uh, one of these charcuterie boards, I'm gonna put some handles on there to hold. So I got these old handles from, I uh, wonder, we redid our kitchen cabinets. Just gonna uh, simply spray paint um, some good black matte rust-oleum on there. Um, I definitely uh, roughed up the door handle so that uh, that spray paint stuck really well. Had no issues with it coming off or anything. Um, I ended up doing multiple coats, different angles. Um, you think you get it all, but when you look look it over good after it dries, uh, which which it dries pretty quick, um, you can find some spots that you didn't hit. So I did a couple couple uh, different sprays there. Here uh, I am gonna do some pretty simple uh, epoxy bow ties. Just let the epoxy basically cure as the bow tie. I haven't really seen this before, but I'm sure it's been done many, many times. There's just a crack here that could definitely, uh, if it got if it got away, it could definitely crack the board. So I just used the router to get some of that material out of there and then simply chiseled away. It didn't have to be perfect. Like I wasn't, um, I didn't trace any bow ties obviously, cause I'm just gonna fill them with black epoxy. So. I just made a rough um, bow tie outline. They they turned out all right. Here for the epoxy, I'm using a Total Boat. Um, their medium hardener. It's basically rock solid after six hours. Those bottles are almost empty. I was thinking about if I was going to go with a fast hardener. Um, but I really like that medium time. It's not like too fast. Um, it, it'll really start to harden up after an hour, hour and a half. So I like the like the speed of it. I can do uh, like two different, I could flip it upside down middle of the day and it could be cured by night. So just filling up that crack and trying to get it down there as deep as possible. And then those, those epoxy bow ties should really help hold that in. If you followed my channel for a little while, you know I don't have a fancy workshop where it's uh, got AC and heating, so I'm freezing my butt off here. Um, just gonna get that epoxy off of the wood, and I use a carbide scraper. Everything I'll, everything I use will be linked below, so you can kind of check that out. And uh, I use this handy Dewalt sander with 80 grit, and make sure not to to dig in there, but just slowly. Um, slowly work away that epoxy. I use a uh, powder, like a black diamond powder epoxy mix, and I never have had any issues with uh, it leaking into the wood and staining the wood. So that's why I use uh, the powder instead of the drops. So you can see that second board um, with, the, with the paddle. I, that, that's the way I wanted to kind of make that one unique. Working on both of them here, just giving them a rough sand. Uh, what I do is sand it first with, with 80, and uh, then jump up to 120, 150 with that with that Dewalt sander. I'm not using my Fest tool here yet. You'll see it. I, I bring it out here later on. But for the most part, this this sander does a really good job of smoothing it out. Um, it does leave more pigtails, quite a bit more pigtails. Like I would never finish a nice nice table with this sander. Um, I have in the past, and it just takes forever. You go through tons of sandpaper. You have to be super adamant about it. You can see I'm using uh, the air compressor, and that is a huge hot tip, 100%. If you're trying to get rid of uh, swirls uh, in your sanding, you can get that air compressor helps a ton because it basically keeps, like you can see I'm hitting the sander there. It keeps any dust from really gathering on that sanding pad, and it keeps it off the wood as well. So I'm just I spray consistently. That's it's especially helpful when you're uh, just sanding epoxy because. As you know, it's it's tough to get that epoxy looking perfect. So I am finishing it here with 220 grit. Uh, it's the 3M Extract, which is an amazing sandpaper, but man, do you go through a lot of it. Here you know what I'm using, the Rubio Monocoat. 
it is food safe. So you can use it on charcuterie boards. These boards aren't made to be cut on, really. They'll do okay, but they're obviously front-faced grain, so uh, they won't be um, super durable to knife cuts and stuff like an end grain board. So I'm hoping the purchasers or the winners of these uh, charcuterie boards uh, choose to cut on a end grain board and uh, just lay the lay the meats or cheeses or whatever they're serving on this uh, these awesome charcuterie boards. So I know there's never a ugly piece of walnut, but man, the, I was super happy with how this um, $65 piece of walnut turned out. That the one with the paddle it just has some amazing amazing swirls in it and I just I love finishing walnut it always looks amazing you know the drill here I'm just making sure that there's no excess I'm uh, I always finish the bottoms first um, when I put that ruby on I let it soak in for at least five minutes I always put a little extra on there because I just really want that that wood to soak it in as much as possible and then I'm uh, finishing the the front here you can see i have some fingerprints from my gloves those are no issue um they they go away once you once you rub in the once you finish the top so on this paddle um charcuterie board i used uh my first ever colored epoxy i used uh i used orange or i think it i used copper is what it's called um another black diamond brand and it looked pretty good with the with the walnut i liked it One thing to make sure when you're wiping in that Rubio is to really check for those drips. I, I noticed after, like a day after, there was a tiny, tiny drip that um, was on the bottom side, which there's not much you can do at that point. Uh, I kind of like scraped it away and you can't really tell it was there, but make sure you always wipe in the underside as well. I didn't film uh, installing the handles, but I just used the countersink on the backside and uh, simply screwed it in there. Perfect. So um, it turned out great. I love that, that handle board. You can find this uh, listed on my Etsy page. Thanks for watching, everyone.